So you can see here our user has zero decisions left. And when that's the case, we don't want to show this form. So first, let's go ahead and hide that when there are no decisions on the user's account. We're going to create a new void function here, and this is going to be called set app status. And we're going to have two statuses. We're either going to have the ready status or the waiting status. The ready status will be the normal app, the user will be ready to ask a question, and the waiting status will be they have no decision, so they're waiting for their free decision. We can define these two statuses as an enum. So up at the very top here, above our home view, we're going to just add an enum and call it the app status. And we'll give it two values, which are ready and waiting. Now back down in this function here, we can just do a quick check. So we can check if the accounts bank, which we get to widget account bank, if this is greater than zero, then we're going to set the app status to equal ready. We'll do this with set state and we're going to create a new local variable called app status. And we'll set that equal to app status ready. We now need to just quickly define this app status. And we'll do that right here below the question. And this will be of type app status. And we will allow this to be null. So we'll add that question mark there. Lastly, we'll add an else here and set the state to be the app status of waiting. All right, great. And this set app status now, we're going to want to call every time the, the page is built. So we're going to call this right from the build method itself. So if we save that, not much changes, but we want to go find now where we're building out this form. And that is right in this build questions form. And we're going to just wrap this whole thing in an if statement. So if we shrink that whole thing down, we can just say if this app status is equal to app status ready, then we're going to show the form. When it's not ready, we will still show the last question and answer. So currently in this column, towards the end, we do have this function to show the question and answer which is just this widget here. And it's gonna show the last question and the answer that we gave to that question. So if the app is waiting, we will still return that piece of it. So we can add that in right here. And now you can see it removes that form. If we had a question that was asked before we did this, then that question and answer should show here. So actually, let me just show you that example. If we go in here, we can add one to our bank here. Now we have the form showing again because this is now in the ready state. So we ask any question and click ask. And you can see it does show us the question that we asked in the answer there. And then it zeroes that back out. So this is good. We now have our enum set up and we have an app status set up. And then we're able to also use that app status to show different parts of our app, depending on if the right conditions are met. If you aren't aware, this video is just one of a series of videos that are going to show you how to build an entire app. And the app that it's going to be building is all focused around monetization. So the parts that you're going to be able to see on YouTube for free are going to be that base app. And this is part of that. But if you want to see all the ways you can monetize a Flutter app, which include ads, in-app purchases and subscriptions, then you can check out the course. If you're interested in that, you can head on over to onemanstartup.com slash monetize, and it will be a 15% discount. You just use the code YouTube subscriber when you are checking out. All that will be linked down below. Ciao for now.